Hello, my name is Maria de Souza. I am the founder of Posture Queen. And this is a place for you to come and learn all things good posture and movement for a life without pain. This is an introductory video to my Feldenkrais Heels one lesson at a time series. So if you are wondering who are these lessons for, these are lessons for anyone that wants to improve mobility and flexibility in a body in a way that is safe and not strainers to the joints. This is also, these lessons are also ideal for people that are suffering from aches and pains. We live in an era that we see it a lot and a lot of us are living with a lot of aches and pains. And these are lessons that anyone can do, providing that you can lie on the floor. And these are also lessons for anyone that wants to improve posture. So before you start those lessons, there are three things that I'd like you to know. First thing is you need a large-ish space around you and you need to be on some kind of cushioning. So you can either have a large mat, thick mat. Those yoga mats are too narrow, so you need to, at least two of those and the very thick ones. Another thing is your feet. Try to do those lessons without socks or with socks that are large enough, like your dad's socks, to allow the feet to express itself. You will probably see me also with these kind of socks that are called toe socks. This is a good solution as well. So the feet are very important. So they need to be free to move and to express itself. If the toes are squeezed while you are doing these movements or anything really while you're walking as well, if the toes are squeezed that means that somewhere in the body needs to be compensated for that lack of mobility in the feet and lack of support. So, so it's important that you allow your feet, your toes to spread, to spread and move freely. Uh, and number three, it's your head when you lie on the floor. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So, so when you lie on the floor, just notice your, where, how your head feels. Is it comfortable? or? Is your, head, is your chin far away from your chest and if you have your head in these positions it is probably very uncomfortable so all you have to do is to have a folded blanket and bring it under your head and that should a nice, um, align nicely the head with the spine but make sure that is not, this is not too high so that you have your chin too close to your chest so the chin should be more or less parallel to the chest so find the right balance for yourself Right, and that's it, there's nothing else you need to know about these lessons I hope you enjoy them and that they bring lots of benefits to you and let me know how you get on with them and I'll see you at the class. Thanks for watching, bye bye now.